In this video, we're going to talk about simplifying this expression involving trigonometric and inverse trigonometric functions. So the expression that we have is sine of tan inverse of 4x. In order to make uh, things a little bit easier, what we are going to do is introduce uh, a variable theta, right? If you look at what tan inverse of 4x is, or know the definition of the inverse tangent, right? That would be the angle, right, from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, whose tangent is 4x, okay? So instead of having to deal with this expression, the inverse tangent part, I'm just going to uh, let that equal to theta. So that's a little simpler to write than tan inverse of 4x. And it allows, it's going to allow me to simplify the problem a little bit. So um, the key to this is what I just said, right? If theta is the inverse tangent of 4x, right? What that means is that that's the angle, right? from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 whose tangent is 4x. So then it would also be true that the tangent of theta equals 4x, right? So um, if you like, you can think about this as taking the tangent of both sides of this equation, right? Tan theta, right, would be here. And then on this side, I'd have tan of inverse tan. And those are inverses of each other, right? So that would just leave me with 4x over here, OK? So. Um, that allows me to deal with this expression instead of the inverse tan one, and it also allows me to reduce the original problem down to this other problem here. So basically what I want to do is, if the tan of theta equals 4x, right, which I have here, then what do I want to find? I want to find sine, and remember this is what we're calling theta right here. So all I did here was replace tan inverse 4x with theta. So our original problem now is this. If tan theta equals 4x, then find sine theta. Okay. So in order to do that, we're going to use a, a couple of identities. Um, the first one that we're going to look at is tan theta and sine theta. Okay. They have this relationship, right? That tan theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. And sine theta is what we're trying to find, right? And we know tan theta, right, over here. Okay. So I can rearrange that a little bit by multiplying both sides by cosine theta. Okay, so now I have sine theta equals tan theta times cosine theta. Okay. And I already know what tan theta is, right? Tan theta is just 4x. Okay, so I just plug that in here. All right, so now this whole problem is essentially reducing down to finding the cosine of theta. If I can figure out what this is, then I will be able to, um, I'll have the problem done. I'll, I'll know what sine of theta is. Okay, and so what I'm going to do to figure out what cosine theta is, right, since I know tan theta, I know what that is, um, I can figure out secant theta, right, by using the Pythagorean identity involving tangent and secant. Okay, and uh, if I know what secant is, right, um, the cosine is 1 over the secant. So if I know secant, then, then I know what the cosine is going to be. All right, so here's how that would go. I know that tan theta is 4x, so I'm going to replace tan theta by 4x. Okay, and then so now I have 4x being squared. That's going to be 16, right? 4 squared is 16. x squared is um, x squared, right? So I've got secant squared theta is 16x squared plus 1. And now I am going to use the square root property, right? If secant squared of theta is 16x squared plus 1, then just secant theta is going to be either plus or minus the square root of 16x squared plus 1. Okay, so I have two possibilities here. So at this point in the problem, I'm going to have to make a choice about which one am I going to use. Is it going to be the positive uh, square root or the negative uh, in front of the square root? So in order to do that, again, what we'll have to do is think about um, the inverse tangent function. Okay, we know, we know that theta is the inverse tan of 4x, right? And so what that means is the range of the inverse tangent, right, that will always give you an angle between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2, okay? And there's a typo right here. This should say theta, okay? 
So since theta is equal to the tan inverse x, tan inverse, right, the range of that, all the outputs of that will be from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. So that tells you that theta is in that range from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. So again, that should say theta right there. So if theta is an angle um, between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2, if you think about the unit circle, what that would mean is that theta would be on the right half of the unit circle. So therefore, it's in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4. Okay. So um, and angles in those quadrants, they have secants that are positive, right? Numbers. Okay. So if you look at... Um, the uh, secants of angles in quadrant one and quadrant four they're all positive and so therefore that tells us that we only uh, the correct choice that we need to make right is that the secant of theta would be the one with the plus out in front so secant theta is square root of 16 x squared plus one okay um, we know the relationship between secant and cosine right and that is that uh, secant is 1 over cosine. So what that would mean is that um, the cosine would be 1 over, right, square root of 16x squared plus 1. So now we know the cosine. We can go back to this that we had before. We knew that sine theta was 4x times the cosine theta, right? And so here we're just going to plug in what we know cosine theta is and Finally, right, we've got that the sine of theta would equal 4x over the square root of 16x squared plus 1.